Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to transmit energy from one place to another using energy tesseracts. Basically, this row here it would be at your home base, so this could be your home base power source, I know there's nothing in it right now. And then this here could be another small base or somewhere where you need power, for example in the never or whatever. As you can see that one had no power, this one has no power. And with this, if I just put some juice in, it will quickly go through. There's still a bit left, that's because it hasn't got enough to power it through. You could do, fix that using some uh, transformers. So basically, I'm going to show you how this works. This here, I'll show you how it works. This here is an. Let me just bring it down on my hotbar. So basically, I'll do it for you right now. If I just get some blue and red wall. So basically the blue wall is going to be your house, your home base. And the red. And the red is going to be another base place you need power. Basically for the home base you need to do it a slightly different way so this is your power where all your power is coming from okay you just actually do that really again uh, you can put down an MFSU uh, you're gonna put down a H3 consumer or you'd use MV or LV depending on the power of your ba battery box so if battery box is LV um, MV is MFE put that down then you need an energy bridge. Doesn't really matter on the power. The BC producer doesn't matter again. Then you need a wooden conductor pipe. Then you also need a golden conductor pipe. And then you also need an energy tesseract. Now the way this works is you put in a frequency, anything from zero from one to nine hundred ninety nine. So I'm just gonna put in eight for example. I don't know if you have to put a name, but you can. So I'm just going to put YouTube in it. Just press yes. What you're going to have to do is go on here, turn this to disabled, and go on here. And you don't have to do this, but I would is put this to send only. Keep it on public access. Depends on your situation. So that's the one from your home base to somewhere else, and then the other base. What you got? What you've got to do is just sort of swap around a bit. So basically, what you'd have is your energy test rack, which you'd set up the same way. I didn't actually save this one. I don't think. Stupid me. No, I didn't save it. So it was a seven. YouTube. You gotta make sure you click on that button there. And then you, yeah, there you go. Uh, so you set it up. You just click on you your one press tick make sure it's on receive only put that to disabled now what you do is you put the wooden conductive pipe and the golden one and then what you do is you put the BC consumer which is basically this power going through here is build craft which is BC so it consumes that puts it into the energy bridge then it creates it into high voltage power then you put it into the MFSU so the way we're going to do this, I'll show you the ways you could use this. So that's not good. Um, if I just get a quarry, basically, say if you wanted to power a quarry here, you would but you have no power here what you do you have like a big power source back here see so this is to pretend this is your sole power source this is all your power source here not much is going through because it's all going well, it would be all going here but it's not because some of it's going here too you could turn this on and off using the end the redstone things here but I've disabled that so say you wanted to just power some machines not a quarry actually so say if you wanted to power a Rotary macerator, for example. And also need a 
leave it for that. You say you wanted to power this, we had another power. Look up to now. That isn't good because that's the wrong power source, but <laughs> yeah, um you need to get the drift, so you can just hook it up so you're up to your power source here. That's how you transmit the power from one place to another. You can also do you could you could easily set up a like a lava geothermal sensor in the nether and power it and send it back home using this method. So in this way you would put this one or no, you put that one in the nether and this one at your house to bring some more power to yourself and also put down a chunk loader which is this thing here at both ends so you just put this for example that shows how big it is so you just put however big you want to keep loaded when you're not here so this is your nether base here you just put like enough to cover your geothermal facility like this and then that's basically how you transmit power. There is also another tutorial on how to create, put this power here, or put the EU from the, this into a quarry, which I put up. As long as I put this up when I think I am, it was up yesterday. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this, and also some vaults, and maybe vanilla Minecraft too. As well as maybe Feed the Beast, if anybody wants it. So yeah. This is Ash Ashley Weller signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.